In this video, we're taking a look at the good old Scar. We're mixing up the meta. Let me know down in the comment section right now what TAC variant do you guys prefer? The TAC V or the TAC 56? I'm curious. If you guys want to have a setup you can drop an easy MGB nuke with, I got you guys covered. So make sure you drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. Let's go ahead and create this iconic assault rifle. All right, let's go ahead and create the good old Scar. This is going to be a hard hitting battle rifle that we're going to be transforming into a running gun mobile assault rifle setup. Now, for the first attachment, we are going to rock that FSS combat grip. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to want to put on the demo clean shot grip on the TAC V. That's what we run on the TAC 56. But on this weapon, we're going to need the additional recoil control. But the good thing about this is we are going to be tuning this weapon to essentially give us that demo clean shot grip with. A grip that also is going to control the recoil some more so we're going to have increased sprint to fire speed set to negative 0.33 as well as increased aim down sight speed set to negative 0.65 this is a phenomenal attachment to combo kind of giving us the best of both worlds here we are going to rock a stock and that's going to be the tac root stock now i know a lot of us would want to rock that cardinal stock unfortunately that's not the case on the TAC V. We're gonna need this brute stock to have increased aiming stability and more recoil control. But luckily, the cons are gonna be irrelevant because with the tuning, we are gonna be increasing that aim walking speed to negative 1.01 and more aim down side speed at negative 1.94. Another great attachment and tune combination. Go ahead and giving us the best of both worlds. We are not running an optic because simply we don't have enough room and the iron sights on the tacks are all crystal clear. We're also going to skip over the laser because this is going to be a strictly long range build that you can run gun with, but it's going to be dominant at those medium to longer ranges. We are going to rock a barrel, and that's going to be the precision barrel to increase that long range capability, giving us increased damage range. Hip fire actually as a nice bonus, as well as bullet velocity. Now, for the tuning, we are going to be bumping up that aim down sight speed almost all the way down to negative 0.39 and increase aim walking speed at negative 0.29 in order to go ahead and take advantage of, again, best of both worlds, close range as well as long range here. Unfortunately, we can't adjust that steadiness. We need some increased movement, so aim walking speed is going to be the best option. Now, for the muzzle, we are going to be running the SA Leveler 55 to smooth out that recoil pattern and remove that horizontal as well as vertical kick with the TAC V. For the tuning, we are going to be bumping up that gun kick control at plus 0.29 as well as increased recoil stabilization at plus 0.65. This is an attack that we are going to be adjusting stabilization. Aim down sight speed is something we don't want to touch under the S855 attachment tuning. Now, finally, we are going to rock the f tap 56. This is going to be additional recoil stabilization and overall increasing the hip fire accuracy as a nice bonus as well as that aim out of stability. This makes this weapon a little bit easier to use at those medium to longer ranges. For the tuning, we are going to be bumping up that aim walking speed at negative 0.13 and more stabilization at plus 0.52. Once you go ahead and jump in the firing range, even though this is a battle rifle, a high damage weapon, the aim down sight speed is relatively quick and the recoil control is going to be there on this hard hitting battle rifle assault rifle kind of hybrid here nice thing about the tac v is if you do land two headshots you are going to be getting two shot kills with this class setup manner of the build is going to be the f tac siege which does come in handy with this weapon we're rocking the sir 160 rear grip the 72 round drum the S40H grip for the underbarrel, the Super Tac barrel, as well as that FGX D-70 laser. Now, we are rocking the stun grenade. Proximity mine, this is going to help us out tremendously. And for the perks, we are running double time scavenger, resupply, as well as quick fix. And then for the field upgrades, we are rocking munitions box and dead silence. A fantastic class that you guys should definitely check out to shake up the current meta and use something different besides the ISO and maybe the TAC-56. If you guys enjoy, let me know down in the comment section. And as always, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for those notifications. Let's get right into the MGB Nuke gameplay. All right, let's get busy with the TAC-V, the SCAR-H, the big daddy. TAC. Let's get it moving, man. Let me know what you guys think about the TAC V. Is it valid? You guys like this over the TAC 56? Oh my god. Not this time, buddy. 
I don't know how I didn't hear that guy at first. You know, I think I was probably talking to myself too loud. <laughs> I think that's literally what just got me killed. I think I was talking way too loud when I was actually doing the commentary. And I couldn't hear my the hood footsteps. Jeez. Rotate this way. Oh my goodness. Sir. Get up here. Buddy, be like teammate. There's no way you let me get shot from behind. A little bit of lag. Get this up. There should be caught a couple. Alright, I'm trusting him. Get that right there. Oh no. Advanced. There's two of them in there. Mm, you know what? Let's not do what I was about to do right there. Let's pop this dead silence and kind of do a wrap. Because I was for real just going to go ahead and just straight up push that. But that's probably a very bad idea given the fact that they have a bunch quite literally just waiting around that corner. That's not going to end well. Let's go, baby. On a 20 piece. Is my Betty still up? Let's go, baby. Kind of getting a little hairy. Rotate this way. Nobody over there. Okay, so my team is spawning. All right, all right. Run on brutal. I can go there. Let's reload. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Drop that right there. I think I literally, I, I did spawn and kill that guy. Keep it moving, man. We're on a nice little gunny. Get a stun. The thing is, we can't even push that because they got some kids on a mean ass head glitch back there. Betty's are kind of eating right now. Good shit, teammate. Do I even want to attack that like that, or do I just want to kind of sit back and just pick these guys off? Of course, I died to a Betty. Damn, that thing was like at an angle because I know I was crouched out. Oh well. Good shit, teammate. Come on, teammate. Man, this is really gonna be kind of hard to go ahead and. 
extend the game. UAV. Dude, we're literally losing 118 to two. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sit on it. Two down. All right, got to Overwatch. Let's get this up. Yes. Are right, we got the advanced? Damn it, that's not good. That could go right there. Load. Good shit, teammate. Stop that there. We can get this done. He lunged. Oh my god. Let's watch this. That was it too. I was I I was literally about to wrap that up and get a double. I was literally about to get a double nuke right there. But no. That's the same guy. All right, I'm dropping this right now. I was literally about to wrap this up and drop a dub. Literally. BG. Hope you dropped like 85, 87. 